first time I really encountered um, Jesus in the Eucharist, um, exposed in adoration, was when I was in high school. My parents had um, what's called a holy hour at a parish church nearby. And they would often either invite me or just kind of let me know that they were going to their holy hour. And sometimes I would go with them and sometimes I wouldn't. Um, and when I was there, uh, my mind would sometimes wander among a myriad of subjects um, or I might even fall asleep. But what I noticed was there was a deep peace in my heart. And I, I experienced this growing desire for, for goodness and for the things of God. And so um, when I went to college, I was very busy. So among playing basketball and um, being editor of a literary arts magazine and taking pictures for the yearbook and leading a Bible study and, and all of these other things, I found um, that I was very filled with life, but at times I was also sort of simultaneously overwhelmed and even a bit empty. And so it was especially during those times that I would seek out um, our little adoration chapel on campus and I would go and just sit before the Lord um, and kind of pour out my heart. and. I would notice that that peace would return. And so after college, I decided to um, come down to Belize, Central America, to a little border town called Benque Viejo, and uh, serve as a volunteer missionary teacher with a religious community called the Society of Our Lady of the Most Holy Trinity. And during those two years, it was a great time of transformation and growth, just because of the prayer life here and uh, the community life amongst the volunteers and with those that we were living with and serving um, and also the the students that we were kind of pouring our lives out for and in that I began to perceive this this call to become totally his and to uh, pour myself out for him and for his children for the rest of my life and so it was in this little adoration chapel here in Benque Viejo, Belize that I really perceived the Lord um, calling me definitively to this way of life, inviting me to it, um, right here uh, in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And so that was 10 years ago, and um, I'm just so grateful to the Lord every day for the gifts of my vocation.